Designing a studio apartment requires creative and practical thinking. In this video, I'll show you ideas for studio apartment layouts, space-saving tips and give you practical design ideas. Living in a small studio apartment doesn't mean you can't have a beautiful and functional home. You can see how you can make a studio apartment work for you. But first things first, what exactly is a studio apartment? A studio apartment is a small home where the living room, bedroom and kitchen are all in one room. However, some studio apartments have a separate kitchen. Even though the apartment is technically a two-room apartment, it is still considered a studio apartment, because the living room and bedroom are still combined. Most people associate a studio apartment with student housing, but studios are not just for young people, and they certainly don't have to look like a dorm room. In this video I will show you how to decorate a studio apartment to make it feel like a real home where you can live, entertain, and sleep in style. When designing your studio apartment, consider your priorities. With thoughtful design, you can do everything you love in a studio apartment, including cooking and hosting dinner parties. Prioritize your kitchen if this is important to you. If you work or study from home, it's important to have a proper desk area in your dining space. This doesn't mean you have to sacrifice other areas of your small home but prioritize what is most important to you. This video will demonstrate how to divide your studio into separate zones, provide tips for using your space efficiently, and showcase the best color schemes for a studio apartment. Ideally, you should create separate zones in your small studio, one for living or dining and another for sleeping. This will give the illusion of a one-bedroom apartment. There are many ways to divide the space in your studio apartment, such as using dividing bookshelves, loft beds, or getting creative with color and textiles. You can put a bookshelf behind or next to your bed. Arrange plants, books, and unique items on the bookshelf to make it an eye-catching piece of decor. A pass-through bookshelf is often used to divide a space. The reason it works so well is that the open compartment not only creates storage space but also allows for visibility both inside and outside. Additionally, the open design allows natural light to enter, making the space feel less overwhelming. To create distinct zones in a studio, consider using rugs, particularly in the sitting area. They not only serve as dividers but also add warmth and texture to the space. Another great option is to use artwork to emphasize the division. By hanging pictures above the sofa while leaving the bedroom walls free of any decorations, you can create even more distinct areas. Movable screens are another fantastic addition to any space, offering both flexibility and privacy. They can be used to block any area from view, such as an unmade bed or dirty dishes, 
and can even serve to hang clothes or other items. The best part is that they can be pulled out as much as needed, allowing you to customize your space to your liking. And when you want your studio to be one open space, simply pull the screen closed and put it away. If you don't mind climbing up to bed every evening and aren't afraid of falling out, a loft bed can create a separate sleeping area in your studio apartment. It saves a ton of space and keeps your bedroom area out of sight. You can easily create a separate bedroom area or hide cluttered shelves while adding texture to your home by dividing your studio apartment with curtains. A narrow glass wall can be used to divide the sleeping and living area in a studio. This allows for the retention of natural light, which is especially useful if the light source is limited to one side. Additionally, a half-high wall can be added to provide privacy for the bedroom area without making the room feel cramped or dark. The wall can also serve as a display for art or a place to hang a television. By arranging your furniture strategically, you can create distinct zones in your studio. For instance, placing your sofa at the foot of your bed can help you avoid constantly looking at your sleeping area. You could even add a screen to further conceal it. Another option is to place a desk behind or next to the sofa or bed. A desk can create a clear division between the living and sleeping areas. If you're lucky, your studio apartment might have a corner that can be used to create separate zones. While a corner area is often used for the bed, it can also function as a home office, especially if you work from home often.
Another way to create different zones is to use your paintbrush. By painting one area a different color, you can give the illusion of a separate zone. If you want to maintain a calm look in your studio, opt for two colors from the same palette. If you live in a studio apartment, multifunctional and flexible furniture is a must. In addition to the bookshelves that combine storage space with a room divider, there are other options available. Multifunctional furniture such as a bed frame system tailored to your needs, can be enhanced with open shelves or drawers if required. This type of furniture is not only versatile but also creates a separate bedroom area. Moreover, it provides storage space under the bed, which is particularly useful for those with limited living space. Make the most of the space you have. A sofa bed or Murphy bed is a great solution when you're short on space and need to tuck away your bed during the day. Just fold it down or flip it up in the morning and you'll have more room to move around. Folding tables are great for small spaces. There are several ways to implement this space-saving idea, such as buying folding tables or desks, or making one yourself and mounting it to the wall. Most articles about studio apartment design suggest painting your small home in a neutral, light color scheme. It's important to consider your own preferences rather than solely relying on the advice of others. Color in home design is a personal choice. Whether you prefer a minimalist and neutral look, or want to make a colorful statement, there are plenty of options to choose from. When choosing a color for your home, Consider what colors make you happy and inspire you to surround yourself with them every day. There is no right or wrong way to decorate your home. If you enjoy an abundance of color, go for it. You can incorporate color in many ways, such as painting the walls, adding colorful furniture, or using colorful fabrics and home decor. If you need help choosing the right colors, here are a few color guidelines to follow. Colors in the same temperature range create a harmonious look. Colors can be divided into two groups, warm colors, such as beige or brown, and cool colors, such as blue and green, Monochrome colors refer to colors in the same hue, such as soft pink and bright pink or the Scandinavian white, gray, black palette.
Contrasting colors enhance each other. If you choose two colors on opposite sides of the color spectrum, they will enhance each other and create a strong, colorful statement. For example, pink with blue. It may seem obvious, but make use of all available space if you live in a studio apartment. This often means utilizing vertical space. In this video, I have presented ideas for studio apartments that can help create a separate sleeping area, open up floor space, and utilize multifunctional furniture. Another smart way to save space is by using curtains or sliding doors instead of traditional doors. After all, a traditional door requires extra space to open up. Also, don't overlook spaces that are typically ignored, such as the areas above and behind doors. What can we learn from this video about designing a small studio apartment? First, Consider what's important to you in a home and prioritize your main functions. Take a good look at the layout of your space. Are there any nooks? Do you want to create different zones? Where is the light coming from? Get multifunctional furniture. Consider the color scheme you desire for your home. Utilize all the space you have, including vertical space. Most importantly, living small does not mean compromising on style. I hope this video was helpful and made you feel more confident about your home design. Thank you for watching.